Welcome to a quick overview of Australia's best quoting design software for the shed industry, ShedTech. What we have here is a number of icons that shows the buildings that are available to quote with instantly and quickly. Portal sheds, garret ports, a skillion shed, a barn, stud frame building, an attached awning, gable carports, skillion carports and a patio. The purpose of the exercise, we'll just do a portal shed uh, and it will be quick about putting in um, just T for a test and we'll put in a Queensland postcode as 4100. The postcode drives the price files that are available in individual states and also we have here uh, the offer of a finance package which we'll leave it as no finance at the moment but it does have varying terms from 6 to 36 months available. This uh, ball here will bring up Google Earth and link to that so you can view shielding and wind factors for each job as that drives our dynamic engineering for site design wind speed. Little happy couple here is to load existing contact details um, and populate this screen here. We'll just move on and go to next and we'll say we're in region A and we could be um, in category say two and a half open rural countryside with no shielding process. That would be say 39 meters per second. We'll click on OK. We come up here with a six by six shed. Let's say because we're in acreage we want to run say about a nine meter wide building and we'd like to make it say um, 12 meters long and we'll make it say 3.5 in the wall height. So I'll put in 3.5. Now this building will work with three or four meter bays or even six meter bays. We can see there's a price here of say $11,000 um, we'll change the trim deck wall to a trim wall, so it's now a 0.35 wall sheet. We got $10,700 as a selling price. If we change to a 4 metre bay, um, we'll see the price went up by about 300 bucks. And we'll look inside here and we'll see that it has three bays. This one is running collar ties and knee braces. Uh, and we can even make it a 6 metre bay, say here. You'll notice these run to 9 metres. So we go to a 6 metre bay. The price has gone up a little bit um, and it shows in just a collar tie um, and it's in two bays only for our 12 metre length. Okay, we'll go back to the three metre one, it's probably the cheapest answer and you'll see that it is at that price. What's it made of is always available at this little link here and it says here it's made of 215 end frame, internal frame, top hats are 60 by 75 mil battens. Um, Deflections, it's telling us 6.3 mil on the roof as a dead load and 95% utilisation of the frame. Wind load is here as regional speed of 45 with our multiplier comes back to 39 seconds is site specific wind speed. Uh, you'll see up here in this top corner you actually supply kit, supply and erect, kit erect and slab, kit erect, uh, kit supply and slab. So if we go erect and slab, the price is around 21 grand and shows here all to erection cost, all the slab cost and the extras in the building which we haven't put any in at this time. What happens is you can set within the tools menu various um, payments for erect or slab um, to suit how, how you do the business in your local area. Uh, essentially we can change the colour here and we'll go to change the colour to some other colour like say um, um, paperback. We can change the roof colour to uh, maybe classic cream. Can't see it. We'll go and look at, just check the roof out here. We go, okay, there's classic cream. We want to put some fiberglass in the roof. We can go in here and um, go fiberglass roofing and just double click. And we have some fiberglass roofing. We'll go back to our normal view. You can see the fiberglass there. And we can scroll inside. And there you can see it's placed fiberglass in the roof. At any time we can optimise this building. We can right click um, and we can go in here to upgrade the portal frame. All these options are available to us which are basically making the building stronger. So if your client says he did or didn't want knee brace or apex tie, you can select them. We could possibly have a back-to-back -back, um, C-section of a lighter item. Uh, and all these things are available here and will alter the price. We also can change purlins and girts on this wind load. It may not work out any cheaper than a 75mm batten. 
or we could have a one mil one which will happen a bit further apart. We'll click on that and find that it did change the price down a little bit. We'll go back to the kit price um, and it reduced the price somewhat. Add um, an awning to this building here. We can just quickly go into bay walls and you can uh, do certain things to the awning like take that bay out. We could add that wall there, take that wall there, take that one there, take that one there and see what we got. Changing it will, you want to proceed, yes. Um, and so what we've ended up with is um, this building here where we've taken away that end bay here and we've moved the wall back inside to there and made like a gara port on the end just because we can. Um, when we save this quote, if that's exactly what we want to do, we haven't put any doors in it, we have a door, I guess. Um, we'll pop in here to doors and um, we could put a door in this side here and um, put a domestic roller door in the centre of that bay, just like that, and go OK. And there is a roller door in that building. If we want to save that now, we go to quotes, quote shed, and we can save this quote just by going OK. And we'll say OK. And it's now saved that quote into our file. To find the quote again, we go to quotes, active quotes, and here it is here, the one at the top of the pile, and we can retrieve that quote by going to view quote. See these icons here, place order. Um, so we'll go into here and uh, we can go view the quote. It's coming back from the server, which is actually located in Sydney, uh, on our commercial server that we utilise. Um, and you can see how quickly that comes back. So all details are held safely and securely on there for retrieval at a later point. Uh, I'll say thank you for viewing our quick little run around on this at this time. Um, and should you want more information, you can view shedtech.com.au or our shedalliance.com.au, uh, which is our national buying group. So I'll say thank you for viewing this.